I've never joined DSA up until now. And since you put Max ahead of me on the program, I will never join. <laughs> Unforgivable. I could uh, talk for quite a while about my relationship with Paul and uh, my political relationship with him since I came to New York or returned to New York in 1978. How he taught me the secrets of the labor movement and which labor leaders were crooks and which ones were just class traitors and stuff like that. Uh, taught me about Westway, which I still I'm deciding whether I'll ever forgive him for that. And uh, talk about the, the lessons of politics and uh, labor and all the other issues that Paul has taught me and that other people have spoken about tonight. But I think you've heard a lot about that, and it's fair enough just to assume that much of what I know about the city uh, is what Paul has taught me. Uh, by the way, Paul. I always thought you were anti-clerical, but Unitarian Universalist does, does not qualify. Uh, on the way up here, my colleague Wayne Barrett, who is very fond of Paul, but uh, rarely agrees with him, as far as I can tell, about anything of substance, uh, was talking to me about him and said that one of the things he admires about Paul the most, Wayne said, you know, Unlike a lot of people in the progressive movement, Paul is really tough. He said, even when he's wrong, which Wayne thinks is most of the time, he's tough. But I think everybody here knows that Paul is tough. And I'd like to talk a little bit about another side of him that I know, which is the side of him as a, as a private person, as a friend, and as a member of a special family which is a part of Paul that I've gotten to know much better since uh, Liza Hirsch came to New York. And I got to know them when Paul enlisted me. I got to know them better when Paul enlisted me to help Liza move from the apartment she'd been in for only a few months to Paul's apartment so she could start to live with him when they were getting ready to get married. And the thing about this relationship is, I think everybody knows the kinds of problems that Paul has faced in his life for a long time. But he had, his toughness is reflected in the courage that I think it took to decide that he wanted to create a new family uh, for himself and for Liza and for Sasha. And the reason, well, I've observed that family closely. Uh, eaten with them, I've spent time with them uh, summer house and in a lot of circumstances and I've gotten to know them pretty well. And Sasha is, I think, the, the real center of Paul's private existence. And he is, I've observed, a father who has the ability to, in, in a way that I think people would find uncharacteristically gentle, perhaps, offer a set of values that, I, that many of us share to his wonderful son. And that's something I really admire about Paul. He also has the ability, I've seen, in spite of whatever adversity besets him, to really enjoy his life, to bring enjoyment of life to his family, to friends like me and to others around. He likes good food and eats a lot of it. He, uh, that's one of the things about Liza, is that she's a great cook, see. He has the ability to, when he's with Sasha, I've seen him, you know, become completely engrossed in the kinds of things that, that make up Sasha's life. The rocks, you know, geodes, stuff that I can't make, hide her hair of, transformers. You ever see those little toys that turn into these weird soldiers? And Paul knows all about that. Computers and all kinds of stuff that's of uh, the deepest interest to Sasha is also of the deepest interest to Paul. I also want to say a word about Liza. Uh, if Paul is a courageous and warm person, and I think he is, I would have to say, with all due respect, that she's doubly so. To come to New York and begin a new life with him among 
all these people who until very recently were strangers to her. So I just want to say that they're a family I feel very close to, not only politically, but personally, and that their love for each other and for their friends is every bit as precious as all the contributions that we've been talking about tonight. Thanks.